Hi folks, Dane here, and today we're going to do Todd's tag. That's right, Todd the Librarian, I'm coming for your tag. All your tags are belong to me. As the title suggests, this is an original tag created by Todd the Librarian, whose channel I've been watching for a while now. And I wasn't actually tagged to do this, but I figured he probably won't mind because we're kind of booktube friends. So I thought, why not do the tag myself, give it a little bit more exposure. I'm going to tag some people at the end. There are 10 questions. I have some books to talk about, of course, and let's go. Question number one, have you ever regretted joining booktube? No, um, I mean, I enjoy it. I think most people do it because they enjoy it. Okay, maybe it becomes stressful at times. I probably haven't been making booktube videos for long enough for me to get to that point. But also, again, I just really enjoy doing it. I'm kind of making videos faster than I can ever release them, which I think is a good thing. It means I can just choose just my best videos, I guess. Question number two, what is the last theatre movie that you walked out on? Now, I'm British and, you know, we're tight. <laughs> so, I've never walked out of a movie. Like, if I pay to go in, I'm going to watch that movie till the end. If you pay for something, you might as well enjoy it, even if you're not enjoying it. Question number three, which character do you remember the most? And you can't name any Harry Potter or Twilight characters. That's fine, I'm going to go with a character from my favourite book, and that would be Lyra from Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. So this is known as the Golden Compass in America as well. Why do I remember Lyra so much? I think she was just an important part of my childhood. I had a crush on her when I was like 14, so yeah, she's memorable, for me at least, and I think for a whole generation. Question number four, which classic novel do you feel in tune with or identify with the main character the most? So this might sound odd, but bear with me. I've gone for 1984 by George Orwell. As you can see, my cover is a little bit knackered. All of my books are well-loved. And uh, yeah, I just identify with Winston Smith in that he has this natural curiosity and he knows he's going to get into trouble, but he has to follow that curiosity anyway. And also he has a certain disregard for the rules. So I think both of those traits are traits that I share and he was the first character that sprung to mind when I read this question. Question number five, if you could meet anyone from history, who would it be? I've got a book for this, even though most people don't think of him as an author. I've gone for John Lennon, and this is Skywriting by Word of Mouth. John Lennon has two or three other books. He also has A Spaniard in the Works, and what's the other one called? In His Own Right, that's the third one. And yeah, I just think John Lennon would be an interesting chap to meet, although by all accounts he wasn't necessarily the nicest of people, but he was fascinating. And I think as well, most of the iconic people that you would think of for this question, you probably don't actually want to meet them. You know, they should—they say you should never meet your heroes. Question number six, the apocalypse strikes and you can only take one of your books into the wasteland with you. Which book do you take? So I'm going to take The Stand by Stephen King. I feel like I've been naming this in a lot of tags of late. And the reason I'm going to take the stand is purely because it's so big. So if I can only have one book, I might as well at least get a book that's super long and that I can get plenty of enjoyment out of rereading. Question number seven. If you could write a masterpiece, what would your subject matter or genre of choice be? What do you mean if? <laughs> no, I guess, I mean, the current project I'm working on is probably my most ambitious project to date. I mean, I've written a bunch of books, as you may have noticed if you've seen some of my other videos and you've caught me kind of self-promoing them. But my current project is about factory farming and it's, uh, it's set on a factory farm after a, de a disease outbreak. And that's basically all I'm going to tell you at the moment. But yeah, that's my subject matter of choice. And I've been reading non-fiction books and everything to augment my knowledge of that area. Question number eight. If you were a drink, what drink would you be? I think I'd be beer. I drink a lot of beer. I like beer. And, you know, people, people like beer. Not everybody, but the people who do like beer tend to really like beer. Question number nine, what is your favourite foreign language book? Now it's been a while since I've read this, admittedly, but I still remember really enjoying it and giving it five out of five stars. And this is Kushin Takami, Battle Royale. And obviously it's written in Japanese, it's translated into English by Yuji Oniki. And yeah, great book. You should definitely read this if you haven't read it already. Question number ten, what separates us from other life forms on Earth? So I'm a vegetarian and a bit of a hippie, so I would say not much separates us from other life forms on earth perhaps that we hunt for fun i think no other animals or i think only dolphins potentially also hunt for fun and maybe some monkeys but yeah um also original thought i guess and creativity and the ability to make things i haven't 
actually, I was about to say I've never seen an animal with its own YouTube channel, but I've seen plenty of animals with their own YouTube channels. But I do think they get a little bit of help. So yeah, orig original thought and hunting for fun. Okay, so it's time to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Ilse's books and uh, bring the pugs as well, please. Randomly bookish Gina and Catadactyl. And I've specifically tried to tag these people because I don't think they move in similar circles to Todd. So I think you guys should get to know each other. I always like it when booktubers I watch interact with or work with booktubers I watch. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know with a comment if any of these books take your fancy. And uh, obviously if you do do this tag, let me know so I can check it out as well. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.